four, five, and six, but match two for every team has completed, which means now we have a bit of a clearer view of what's going on with Gold Cup W. So, guys, this is a question from the Africans. Let you know again, we cover primarily Canadian and African content. But you're here for the recap, so let's go through it. We had six games happening in the last three days. Let's give you a quick rundown of what happened. Mexico on Friday defeated Dominican Republic 8-0. You knew that still. The U.S. over Argentina 4-0. You knew that still. Puerto Rico, in a surprise, get past Panama 2 one and Brazil in the anticipated rematch of the Combo Copa America Femme final, taking it over Colombia 1-0. Canada beating Paraguay 4-0 and Costa Rica securing the W 2-0. Now, with all of that being established, what does that mean? It means now we have a better idea of what's happening when it comes to teams players, and their overall matchup. So let me just give you this visual uh, screen grab by many. Shout out Sutton for the lovely screen grab that you have here. But here is a breakdown of what matters here. And again, we mentioned this before and we'll mention it again. Because the competition is seated, the top eight teams will move on and they will be seated based off of their points goal difference, things of that nature. So because of that, here is a breakdown of what you need to know, especially when it comes to, all right, it's not necessarily a problem, but here is where teams currently stand. Right now on goal difference, Canada sits in first with a 10 goal difference, the U.S. in second with a nine, Brazil with third with a plus two with six points. Those are the two the three, three up, three down. I mean, two up, two down. Then you have Mexico with four, Colombia with three, Puerto Rico with three, Paraguay with three, Argentina with the one, but Costa Rica just beat El Salvador. So right now, Costa Rica is in the eighth spot with El Salvador sinking a little bit lower to the 11 spot and Argentina in the ninth spot, which means now you're not only playing for seeding, but you're playing just to get into the top eight Canada. And right now the U S and Brazil have qualified, but now this makes the matchups coming up all the far more tantalizing and interesting. So guys, with the matchups here, we have the scroll. Who do you think will finish top eight? Are there teams that you think won't? Let me know in the comments below. But now this opens up the door for next matchups, which begin tomorrow or today, depending on when you're watching this. Argentina plays Dominican Republic. That's a big in for Argentina. Like they need a win to give themselves a chance to move through. And Dominican Republic also need a win and a lot of help for our teams to drop points because Dom Rep have the lack of goal difference. They would need a big win. And we're talking at least a nine goal win to at least catch them with an Argentina or a Paraguay in terms of goal difference. So Dom Rep behind the eight ball, not out of it, but mathematically, it seems like we can see here singing in the far out distance. The next matchup tomorrow is the U.S. versus Mexico. That currently is your two versus your four. And Mexico needs a result here to at least guarantee that they are on the top half of the bracket versus the bottom half. And the U.S. wants to keep pace with Canada while also maybe passing them and getting goals. I think that would be very important for them moving forward. The other thing to keep in mind with matchups coming up is that they aren't stacked, which means, unfortunately, Argentina will get a result, and then Mexico and the U.S. will know what they need to do. So for Group B, it's the same thing. Colombia versus Puerto Rico will play in the early matchup, which means a win by them tells Brazil what they need to do in their matchup to go on. And then Canada versus Costa Rica on Wednesday, a win by either Costa Rica or Canada tells what Paraguay or El Salvador need to do to move forward. It's a little bit unfortunate. 
I know based off of the facilities that they do have, it is tough to keep both games simultaneous. I think for competitive advantage, it would have been a great idea. Guys, you see your top eight right there. Are there teams that you feel will do a better job? Who do you think will finish in the top eight? Who do you think will go through, guys? We are almost on the group stage of the CONCACAF Gold Cup W. Let me know who you have in your top eight, and then we'll get into the fun of matchups and everything that follows, guys. A short video, but getting you caught up so you know what's coming tomorrow. Who do you have winning between Mexico and the U.S., as well as Argentina and the Dominican Republic, and the other matchups? Let me know in the comments below. Guys, until next time, I'll simply say bye-bye for now. Oh, 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 oh,